Hey everyone, today we're taking a look at Until Dawn, a 2015 classic that's just been brought to PC as Until Dawn Remake, powered by the Unreal Engine 5. And these are the game's minimum system requirements, so today in this video, I'll show you how to tweak the game's graphics to achieve the best performance on any machines. So let's dive straight in. First I'll be running the game using my integrated graphics. First I've set the screen resolution to 1080p and the screen percentage to 50%. I've also turned off the frame limit and disabled vertical sync. In the quality settings, I selected the low preset, and under advanced settings I've disabled everything to enhance performance. Under resolution scaling, I haven't activated the upscale method since the only option available is temporal super resolution, which doesn't perform as well as screen percentage on integrated graphics. That's why I'm sticking with a screen percentage of 50%. Now let's see how the game performs with these settings. Well, the game is actually quite playable at these settings, but we always strive for higher FPS. So let's exit the game and explore some ways to boost its performance further. For tweaking, we'll be using the Unreal Engine 5 Unlocker tool. It's a super useful tool that lets us access the in-game console and make graphical tweaks with ease. While the game's config files can be a bit messy, only giving access to game user settings and engine files, this tool streamlines the process. No need to manually test each variable one at a time. It makes everything much simpler. You can find the tool in the description. After downloading Extract It, and make sure you're in the game before launching the tool. Now open the application with administrator rights. First select the game process and choose the correct DLL file. Now click on Inject DLL, and let's jump back into the game. Before we start tweaking, you'll notice that the game doesn't allow resolution values lower than 1024 by 768 p and you can't set the screen percentage lower than 25%, so let's modify everything. Now for tweaking, you need to open up the game console by pressing the tilde key on your keyboard. First, I'm going to lower the screen resolution to 960 by 540 p by entering this appropriate variable. You can even go lower if you prefer. You can also disable the in-game shadows using this variable. Don't worry, all the commands and tool I used will be in the video description. You can also disable the fog, but I'd advise keeping it on because it plays a big role in the game's atmosphere. Of course, it's totally up to you. Personally, I'll be turning it back on. You can also lower the draw distance using this variable and setting its value to 0.1, which will give you a nice FPS boost. Looking for an extra performance boost? You can clear out unnecessary elements like bushes, grass, and trees by using this variable and setting its value to 0.1. This can make a big difference, especially if you're using an integrated graphics. Additionally, you can lower the character level of detail by using this variable and setting its value to 15, which will give you low poly models for even better performance. If you're up for experimenting, you can switch on potato graphics by using this variable and setting its value to a higher number. Like 10, the higher you go, the more the textures get downgraded. Now things might look a bit pixelated at this point, so I'm going to bump up the screen percentage slightly. Feel free to adjust it to whatever looks best for you. And that's it. Just a heads up if the game looks a little dark to you, it's because this mission has a darker visual tone. With that said, we've reached the end of today's video. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends who are also running low-spec machines, so they can enjoy Until Dawn Remake 2. 
and I'll see you all again in the next video. So, until then, take care and bye. <laughs> cool.